Interstate 15 is the popular route to Salt Lake City, and most of the time the city of Milad ends up being nothing more than a quick stop on the way or just the last Idaho town before crossing the border. Brenda Stanley joins us now with a look at an Idaho gym that may have you talking or taking a little detour. I visited the Oneida Pioneer Museum in Malad, and while it's called the Pioneer Museum, what I found was a unique place that is full of much more than just pioneer relics and history. It feels like you've opened the door to a huge version of your grandma's attic when you step inside the Oneida Pioneer Museum, and Faye Cottle is your official tour guide on a trip back in time. It's been a labor of love. I just really have got involved in it and, and know a lot of the stories about the different things that we've got. There are original portraits that line the walls, old medical equipment, musical instruments, clothing, furniture, even animals. My favorite thing is in the back room, and the only reason I haven't stolen it is because it wouldn't fit in my pocket. And it's an old bathtub that came out of a barber shop. So it has casters on the front legs, but not the back legs. So they could wheel it and put it in the sunshine. Or one of the little school programs that was in here on the field trip, a little boy, he said, that ain't a bathtub, that's a horse trough. <laughs> and it does look like a horse trough. But uh, anyway, we've got a lot of fun things in here. Faye's been with the museum since its inception over a quarter century ago and enjoys telling the stories of the many articles housed within the walls of the historic 1914 building. The old cream separator. My parents had one of these. I think in later years they were electric, but I remember turning the crank. Most of the items stored here are from the late 1800s when the pioneers came into this valley. But Faye admits some things are there because they just couldn't find another home. Things that in Grandma's house that nobody wanted anymore. And we try to keep everything in here from our county, from Oneida County. Uh, obviously the bear that's hanging on the wall was killed up into Alaska but it was killed by a man from here. After that man died, his brother was a judge up in the courthouse and he had that hanging on his wall up there. And when he retired, he took it home and threw it over the back of his couch. Didn't take his wife very long to get tired of that. And she put it in a big garbage bag and put it down in their basement. And I heard about that and I said, well, why don't you let me hang that up in the museum? So she was thrilled to get it out of her house. Faye is now officially retired, but is still dedicated to showing anyone who wants to see the collection, even putting her phone number on the front door in case someone passing through wants to take a look around. This has been a labor of love. It's been hard to let go. Even though I'm retired, it has been hard to let go of things. And so she'll keep watching over all these memories of a simpler time. It's just kind of a walk through memory lane to come in here. And, you know, my grandma had one of those. And it was pretty nostalgic for people. And if you drive to or from Utah and you look off to the east on the hillside, right at the state line, you'll see an old gravestone surrounded by a small fence. Well, there's a photo of the man who was buried there in the museum, along with a story of why he was mistakenly buried in Idaho. Back to you.